G'day guys, so we're going to change the end on this lead and show you how. Uh, in this one here, the old earth pin's buggered. Uh, so it's a good excuse to change the end on the lead for you, show you how to do it. First thing, snip the end off. Bear with me guys, I'm on uh, holiday and haven't got my tripod here, so I'm free handing this one. What you need to purchase is one of these rubber ends. So first thing is we'll unscrew this, take it apart so we can slide it on the cable. Right, so once we've undone these screws, pull it apart, slide this end on the cable first, pull it through a bit, just like that. And then get this way end and put that on the cable with the white clamp part first. Right, so your cable end should look somewhat like this. Now, on this part here, don't know if you can see. Oh, yep, right there is there's a wee wire gauge on there for the length you want to keep it. Um, and you have to follow this pretty strictly to be able to fit the ends into it. So line it up like that, whip the insulation off, if you're careful you can uh, clamp the edges of the insulation with your side cutters carefully and then bend it and it will snap away and you just got to be careful about doing it. Shit. Supposed to happen, so yeah, just pinch it softly, and you can sort of feel where the cable ends are in it, and just clip a wee bit at a time. So there's a wee little hole there. All you gotta do is be careful and just have some practice at it. And obviously, if you nick the cable at all here, cut it off and start again. And just try it a few times. And as you can see, there's no marks, no nicks, nothing. So just pinch it really carefully and take off small bits at a time and then snap it. Right, so the uh, next part is on the strip length gauge. You've got a wee end bit here uh, that shows you how much copper should be showing. It's on the smaller line, so it's only about centimeter or less and then just strip the ends off next thing you want to do is grab this end here and loosen off these terminations in here on these clamps don't undo the screw completely or it'll fall out and you'll have trouble relining them up Right, next part of this is you want to line these up with uh, the corresponding parts. Now the earth one's clearly labelled on here, but the phase in neutral you've got to get right. So what you need to know for these sockets is uh, it's going to be bloody opposite from the camera, but the first slot is your phase always the first pin the one on the left so I think on the camera it's reversed but if you look if I'm looking at it the one on the left is always the phase so from that one there you go to the back of the thing and that screw there is going to be for the phase so for the brown wire on the other side is going to be your neutral and that's the that's the slot on the far right hand side of the of the plug end so the uh, neutral wire is going to be blue colour on these flexible cables. Now I don't twist these up because when they clamp down on the copper it gives a much higher surface area for contact. Right so the next part is you want to start sliding these cable ends in. First thing you might want to do is trim these down to length a bit. And that there should suffice.
take three. We'll uh, fucking fucking see. Right, can you see this? Because I can't. But we're going to tighten this clamp onto the uh, earth cable. And then crank it up a wee bit once you've tightened it. Fuck! Screwdriver went through my hand. Screwdriver went through my hand. Out here. So it stopped bleeding. Got fucking blood on my shirt from it. Get a fucking gauze. It's not it's not painful anymore. It was a bit painful at the start. Throw the gauze there. Put a bit of saline down first, which I've already done, but so you can see. Throw some of that shit on it. Get the old crepe bandage out. Hold on to it, put some pressure on there. Wrap up with the twist. Do it again. Adds a bit more pressure on. Unfortunately, I pulled this bandage off. Um, what I didn't do is put a bit of antibacterial on it, but I will shortly. Grandmother's here, guys, so we'll uh, start this again. Sorry about that, bit of an interruption there, guys. Um, so anyway, what I've done is I've put the earth terminal in. I've cranked the uh, clamp up on the on the old cable itself. So as I was explaining earlier, uh, from the back here, the phase is going to go on the right hand side at the back. Into the right hand terminal where my finger's moving. And I'll quickly do that now. So once it's in the right hand terminal, Obviously tighten it up, crank it up. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm bloody only working with one hand at the moment, pretty much. And give it a wee bit of a pull test. Don't go pulling the bloody terminal out and put the neutral in the last terminal here. What we want to do is just slightly trim these rubber bits back here where my thumb's touching. And just trim them back to the same length as the sheath on the cable here just because we need to fit it into the end part here so just so, so you can see I've trimmed that one back slightly now I'll just trim this last one to line it up now the next part is what we want to do pull this clamp part here onto this part once you've done that just press it together and then tighten these two screws up here right so once that clamp's done up now we slide this last part on, so I've lined it up, and all we've got to do is push this into the front of it. Right, so once that's pretty much in, you really want to tighten these screws back up. Now the last thing you want to do is a quick continuity test, um, to, ma to make sure these contacts are properly in there. So grab the other end, find out what pins what. Uh, obviously on this one, this here is going to be your phase pin, this one here is going to be your neutral, and the bottom one is going to be your earth. And line it up with this, so that one's there is your phase, it's your neutral, and that one there is your earth. Checking the earth. So checking the phase. Perfect. And checking the neutral. And the other thing you want to check is that they aren't that there is an open loop between the other terminals.